Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion and Fun. In today's video, we will be doing a couple pages of Summer Bridge. Sophia has her Summer Bridge workbook and it's a highlights workbook. She, she will be doing around four to six pages and um, Miguel will actually be doing whatever many pages he can just because he already did his work for today. Um, I'll show you guys what he did for today. Today Miguel was working on fractions and decimals. He really did understand fractions and decimals very good. He actually did not make any like mistakes, so um, he did get stars. Um, on the second page and th or third and fourth page it was the same he did perfect and no mistakes so he went fairly fast today i think yesterday it was fractions as well yep mm -hmm. yesterday was fractions as well and he did very good so for fractions i don't think we will be having a really hard time but like if i go back and show you guys um something multiplication kind of he gets it pretty well but what we struggle a lot is on the three digit subtraction and addition um, he still doesn't really understand the concept of borrowing and kind of like that so it did take us a while to correct those and go back and recorrect and things like that but um now he on the now that we are in the fraction section he is doing pretty great tomorrow he has a few pages to work on but for today on this video he will be going to the back of his book and he will be starting on the technology technology section so he will be reading this and the good thing about miguel that um he already knows how to read so he is able to like work by himself if he needs help he asks either daddy or i for help and then we kind of guide him but um if you guys seen some of our videos most of the videos it's us like mainly working with sophia because she still does not know how to read and stuff so we have to guide her but miguel is able to read by himself so he can work ahead by himself and then I just go and correct his work but he will be working on these pages of technology I believe the first few pages is just about reading and no right here he has work can you pick the powerful password and he will um, I'm assuming he will choose what he thinks is the most powerful password right here but um, there is a brain box that um, explains to him those details. So I'll let him do that. Let me check their, yeah, you already cut that one. Their map. Sophia is on the, what section is this, Sophia? Yeah, so Sophia is working on chapter six. So she completed chapter five. So she's on track with her stickers but i think miguel already did earn a few stickers let's do that miguel let's do that first before we forget to add your stickers mm -hmm. so he is currently on the fractions and decimals so right here so he has earned a addition and subtraction sticker and a green one that is multiplication and division so miguel you can add these two stickers now on your map okay mm -hmm. so he's going to go ahead and add those stickers on his map because he earned two more okay for sophia it says tall and short draw a circle around the tallest in each group so circle around the tallest mm -hmm. and put a x on the shortest Small. x uh-huh on the short only only one shortest not the middle one okay tell how you know which one is the tallest so how do you know which one is the tallest sophia why 
because because kind of with with your eyes you go like this and so you know he's bigger right mm -hmm. you see if you kind of go like that you know she's bigger okay Sophia, do you remember this letter? V. Why? 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 This is the V. That's the V. This is the Y. Trace the uppercase, then write your own. And then she will be tracing the lowercase Y. Then she will be writing her own. Let's read this. Yakim. Yakim. Has. Has. A. A. Yo yo. Yo yo. Can you you restart it? Yeah, Kim. Kim has has a yo yo. A yo yo. Okay, we had to fix a few mistakes because she was doing them kind of like a straight line with a slanted line, but um, she fixed the mistake. Right here we have the number eighteen, Sophia. Eighteen. Eighteen. And this is how you spell eighteen. And let's count the polka dots. Circle the towel that has 18 polka dots. We'll do this off video because I don't want to make this video real long and bore you guys. But we will count these and she will tell me which one has 18. Okay, she did that. Now, small and big. Look at each group. Who is the smallest? Wait, Sophie, let's read everything. Who is the biggest? Write one, two, three to show the order from small to big. We started the first one. So the first one is the baby. So what, when, who is next? That one. So write a number two, like this one. Uh-uh. No, you did it back. These are the ones I think that are powerful. Like this, Sophia, like this one, too. Uh, circle. I think you're supposed to... I'm not sure if you could circle one more than one, but I'll count it for you. Did you read this? It's a secret groups of letters, numbers, and symbols that only allow the person who knows, who knows the, the passers to... to okay. Get, Access. So, a password should be hard for others to guess. Read how to make a powerful password. Don't forget to keep your password private from everyone but trusted adults. Make sure you use at least eight characters. So, you need to count one that has at least eight characters. Mix it up with use numbers, letters. Yes. Uppercase upper upper and lowercase and, lower and symbols. And it says, don't use your birthday, your pet's name, or anything else as pass uh, about you as part of the password. Mm -hmm. Share your password with anyone else except a trusted adult. Let's see. So... Hmm... So you think this is like a good one? This is like, I think the point of this, uh, well, I, I would count it as a good password because it does have um, uppercase, lowercase, number, symbols. Um, but I think the point is like they say cats are cool. I think that's what it, it meant to say. But... For me, I think I, that's a pretty, like, um, powerful password. Mm -hmm. Let me see what the the answer sheet says. Okay, yes, he was correct. And it does say circle the, the strong passwords. So, yes, he could use more than one. So, that is correct, Miguel. And he is going to the next page. I already explained to him um, how to work on this one. And I think that one's pretty kind of like cool. So I'll let him do that. He's going to be making like a pattern. It says follow the algorithm to color in the squares below. So he will be following all these steps to make a pattern right there. And don't forget to read your brain box, Miguel, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Sophia. We have number one, two. Which one is last one, on the ducks? Number three. Um, three is mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. He's big. Like this one? Yep. And do the same for the bottom um, ones. Your three is backwards, Sophia. Mm -hmm. Let's um, do it correctly. Mm. Like this one. Okay. And if you guys haven't seen some of our previous videos, Sophia it seems to be left-handed. She has been um, writing like that for since ever I remember. So number one is the smallest, Sophia. I'll write mm -hmm. down here. Number one. Mm -hmm. And finish the rest. What letters are you working on? Um, no. Mm. A letter Z. Z zebra. Z is for zebra. zebra. Okay, she did the C Zs. So we. So we. Lives. Lives at, at the zoo. zoo. And is this it? is what is it? A zebra. That, right. And what's his name? Zebra. No, so we. Zoe. Lives at the zoo. Mm -hmm. So this is Zoe the zebra. Mm -hmm. Okay, and she lives at the zoo. Count each group of animals crossing off as you go. Okay. Which group has 16, 17, and 18? This one. No, we're going to count, and you're going to see if it has 16, 17, or 18. Count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. 14, 14, 16, 17. Okay, so write this number. 17. 17. One and seven. Okay. So let's cross off the mo monkeys and count. Okay, one, one, two, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. ten, eleven, mm -hmm. twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen. Sixteen, seventeen. So. She missed one. It, it's, uh, I didn't even realize when she missed one, but I recounted and it's 18. So this is 18, like this. One and eight. Let's write one and eight right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's count this. And this question, which two animals start with the same letter? Okay, listen, Sophia. You're going to tell me which ones start with the same letter. Panda. Panda. Monkey. Oh, I said panda. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Penguin. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, penguin. One. Monkey. Yeah. Panda. Yeah. Which ones? Uh-huh. Panda and penguin. Okay, she did a little road to them. Right here is saying, uh, I'm not sure what she's supposed to, I, um, I think she's supposed to copy these kids. We'll see. I can be big. I can be small. I can be short. I can be tall. I can roll my roll hands fast. I can roll hands low. I can reach hands high and I can reach hands low. So now Sophia will be doing this. So stand up, Sophia. Mm. Uh, we have our door right there. It looks so bright. We can't really see you move right there. Okay, there we go. I can be big. I can be small. So close your hands. With no, do your hands to your body like this boy. She can't see. What? This one? Ah, si. Uh-huh. Pon tus manos así. 
Uh-huh. Now I can be short and I can be tall. Hands up. Because you're tall. I can roll hands fast. I can roll hands slow. And I can reach hands high. And I can reach hands low. Okay. Woo! Sophia has this one, but um, I think she will be doing this one off video. And we'll show you guys but next time that, that we are. But we're skipping for now. And she could come back and do it because she is close to getting done this with one. chapter 7. So she will be doing this. And this is a optional bonus. Like I mentioned, we will be doing all the optional bonus um, later. Like, for example, today we already have our um, stuff to do the first bonus which is this but we'll be doing it after we finish this video and let's work with the last one of today Sophia okay Sophia a traffic has red yellow green draw a line from each color to what it means so which one means go this is go green means go okay right do a line and which means stop. Stop. Mm -hmm. Red is go. I mean, red is stop. And slow. Slow. Draw a line from each sign to what it means. What means stop, Sophia? Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Which one means walk? Bike lane. Mm. Okay, and Sophia is pretty much done for today, but she will be doing this one off video. And Miguel, I will be checking his work, but he'll just complete that one, and then he'll be done for today. And after they they finish up, then we will be back with a different video to do the bandana um, tic tac toe. So that is all for today. We hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.